Well, hello there, great person, and welcome back to another reaction to Wheel of Time Origins. This time we're at episode 4. Yeah, and it's it's paired with this great episode that we just saw this uh, Friday. And actually, I'm quite curious what I'm going to see today, because there was so much in the episode that it could be anything. And yeah, I think they are always a bit linked, but number 3 was not that linked. Um... Yeah, before I get into this, remember, if you have questions to me, uh, you can post them here and I will do a QA and a in the weekend. And uh, yeah, let's just get into that. Let's just see what exactly, what kind of law we got today and uh, have some fun with it. Oh, the bridge of Khazad-dûn. Until it finds itself here, when the island of Tarvalon splits the mighty river Erin into two halves. Oh, that's where the city is, I think. Thousands of years ago, long before the walls of our great city were raised by Ogier hands, there existed a great era of humanity. Hmm. Also, the light spell is very cool. Lumos. The age of legends was a time of advancement. Oh, wow, yeah. Science, technology. What little knowledge survived the breaking alludes to incredible progress. Yeah, wow. Well. Society benefited through true collaboration as female and male Aes Sedai worked together with each half of the One Power. Saida and Saidi, woman and man. Yeah. Parts of the whole. Two parts from the same source, the true source. When men touch Saidi, it's wild and unwieldy. The rage yeah, the, the fur thing. Yeah. And after the Dark One corrupted Saidi, the madness is unavoidable. Also, the rivers, the rapids, the symbol very nice. The two cannot be separated. When women touch the true source with Saida, we surrender and guide. In its gentleness, we find its infinite power. Great visuals as well. Wow. To master these waters will take time and practice. My daughters, let us begin. Empty yourself of your thoughts. Oh, training. How cool is that? Your mind is the bud of the flower. Only that. You can see every detail, every vein, every leaf, every curve. Feel it. Know it. You and the bud are one. Wow, okay. That was actually quite a lot more than I expected, to be honest. Um, that was a lot. So we got the Age of Legends. And I knew about that because you told me before. So um, yeah, I, I, I knew about it. But um, seeing it was very nice. And the, the skyscrapers, and they looked like the ones that had been overgrown by the leaves and bushes and whatever in episode one. So... Yeah, the age of philosophers and scientists and, yeah, reminds me a bit of Foundation as well. Um, so, uh, because it's quite similar, actually, because in Foundation, I don't know if you've seen it or if you know the books. I don't know the books, but I've seen uh, season one. Um, so, it's about this empire, this galactic empire, and there's this guy and he predicts that it is going to fall. So this guy says, yeah, it's going to fall. What are you going to do? What do you want to take to the next one? And this is similar. So it's like, what are you going to take to the next age or what survived in this case? Because no one really chose, you know, they did not have time to prepare. But perhaps they did have some time because, I mean, it was, and I probably don't know everything about this yet. So what I know is um, that uh, Luz Therim, um he created Dragon Mount and um, did Seppuku there whilst doing that. And then there were other men of his and uh, his followers that were users. They were obviously t um, touching the source as well. And it was corrupted and they all went mad one after each other, I think. So they destroyed then the world, which means there was time perhaps. So they might have been able to save stuff. So it's perhaps the same question. What would you save if you are this 
you know, this this magic and technological advanced city that has everything and every power they have, you know, they can probably manip manipulate electricity and, and perhaps even have anti-gravity. I, I don't know what they have. It might be a sci-fi society, whatever. Um, high, high technology and then there is the mages that probably are interwoven with the technology and then suddenly they are running around at least half of them and ending everything and then you can you might be able to make something survive and i mean um if the age of legends did have computers they would not survive probably because um the as to die and the male ones and I, i'm sorry i forgot the male one's name he just told me but i'm an idiot um, so they would probably use lightning as well and, and, and stuff like that to destroy things that lightning is EMP so it will just fry every hard drive so their knowledge is lost so you have to write it down but then they have this um, uh, tendency to burn out and burst into flames when they are very very far gone so books will burn how do you how do you make things survive and that's actually very interesting as well it's, it's the same question by the way from foundation what would you take and save if you could from from corruption from no not from corruption from from the from the end of your civilization to give to the next one what message what what things you know and this is the same but more um in the foundation they could plan it here they couldn't have they probably had le very few moments to plan that and speaking in years so they perhaps had three years to plan it in foundation they have already a hundred so i don't know but that's something I really found interesting. So then it got corrupted. And then he said the thing with the uh, um, two, two, two ways they, yeah, the, the yin and yang. And I mean, we, we, you probably know what it means, the yin and yang, you know, and, and it's like uh, two halves. They do different stuff, but together they are whole and the same. Or the same thing underneath that's binding them together or whatever. And um, so the male part is like this. Yeah, I said it was feral, but I feel it's like wild and, and impulse, no, perhaps impulsive, I don't know, but wild and, and feral and like rapids in a, in a river. They are just, yeah, yeah, go, let's go. And, and a bit, bit mad already. So the disposition for men is just there already. And the women are this, this clean stream that um, goes through everything and... Um, blows through everything and takes its time but it's very very connected and very in harmony perhaps even but that might be reaching on my part and uh yeah then they had the lesson uh yeah and the picture of the woman the naked woman flying into the to the source like you are i mean nakedness as far as i know can symbolize two things shame and um um comfort which is a bit paradoxical, but yeah, shame because if you're naked in front of other people, they tend to laugh at you. And that's one of the things we absolutely hate. And some people dream about that in horror, um, in horror dreams and nightmares. And, um, and then there is this, like this primal piece you are in when you are like, like from the womb, from when you were in the womb, you know, that you were naked there and that's very, you were cared for, everything was all right, you didn't have any worries. And uh, you know this, and, and that, that it looked a bit like that when, when the, the naked women flew to the, to the source, it was like she went to her birth, you know, to her true nature. That was very interesting, very interesting graphic. I like that a lot. And yeah. Um, and then we had the training. The training was good as well. I like the training. So... It was a bit like Moraine, so it's this visually, visualization thing, so that it's like you connect yourself with something through the, 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 the strings, the, the weaves. I don't know if they are the weaves, I won't explain it, but I, I probably, yeah, I, I probably forgot it again. I'm so sorry. So it's, it's like these strings that they use to weave things and weave spells, and they have to connect with something. And I know in the books, some people told me they are not really there, and... At least males couldn't see the female ones and vice versa, which is, which is also, I mean, if they are a bit different, yeah, I, 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 can, I can, I get that. I can get behind that. And um, so they have to imagine being connected and then they are connected because their mind wills into being the whatever they want to do. And they wanted like, uh, she had the fireball, the uh, uh, Lumos Solemn spell. 
I mean, it's Lumos Solem. It's this, 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 yeah, you know, I mean, you probably know Harry Potter movies. I mean, it's only in the movies, it's not in the books. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, it's, um, it's, um, and then after that, they, they, I think they had to make things bloom and, and flourish by the training where the episode ended with. And they were on this bridge. And I don't know why they were on the bridge. I, I mean, she told me that it was in the, um, where these rivers parted, where the isle is, and I know the Acidize White Tower thing is there, I think. So they were probably next to, to that and they were training their power to um, to use it for the first time. It was quite a dense thing. Quite, quite a dense episode. I really like this one. I think this was my favorite next to the uh, Manethrin one. The third one was a bit, okay, interesting story, but I don't know the, the person. It was like this little great message. I like that as well. And the first one was the breaking. Yeah, the breaking was good as well, but I already read the breaking in the prologue. So like I, I have false memories of that episode already. So breaking is very cool. I like the breaking a lot. A lot goes into that. And I hope that by the end, we will, I, I will have a complete understanding what exactly happened. I mean, as far as... I mean, I don't have to know every detail, you know, but I, I would like to know a lot more about it because it's quite an interesting event. It's like the fall and now they have to rise again. It's very... Um, it's, it's a trope, but it's a great trope. Anyway, that was my little ramblings. Um, yeah, hope you liked them. Tell me what you think and tell me what I uh, missed in this one because I'm sure I missed something because this seemed quite dense. I think I missed things here. So if you think I missed something, tell me. And uh, as always, consider liking and subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Many of you are and thanks to you again. Um, we cracked the 500 and the 600. So yeah, thanks to that. And uh, yeah, I hope that you have a very, very great day and uh, perhaps enjoy your week. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so half halfway done, week's halfway done, and uh, yeah, take care of yourself. See you around. Bye.